So Behavior just dropped some information talking about the perks that they're going to rework in the next coming update. And I just want to make a quick video talking about what, how I think they're going to rework these perks. And you know, maybe, maybe I'll be right. I don't know. Tinker, I think is only going to proc once per gen. Dark Devotion, I think is going to work on special attacks and last longer. With Barbecue and We'll Make It, because they're reworking the prestige system, so there's not as much of a grind. They'll probably get rid of the blood point incentive because it's not needed anymore. Or alternatively, they'll get rid of the other bonuses and only focus on the blood point incentive because, you know, why not? Deadheart is going to only activate if the game detects if you're actually dodging a hit so you can't use it for distance anymore. Alternatively, they're going to make it so that you can't gain speed anymore. They're going to nerf the distance because they've talked about that before. Borrowed time, they're going to nerf the timer and then make it so that borrowed time is now base kit. Speaking of timer, they're going to nerf DS by making the timer shorter, but probably about 45 seconds, and then all 45 to 30. Eh, 35. We'll say 35 seconds. Why not? And then they're also going to make it deactivate when interacting with exit gates. People have been talking about self care. Like, why are they, what are they going to do to self care? Like, it's already a shit perk. But what people don't realize is it makes medkits more efficient. So you get more use out of your medkit. They also do this with Bonnie Knowledge. So I think they're going to be nerfing medkits by making it so that these two perks no longer give medkit bonuses. And then they might, they might buff Bonnie Knowledge, but I don't, I don't know what they're going to do with self-care. Probably just the medkit thing. They'll buff Bonnie Knowledge by just making it heal better. I got some beef with Eruption. There is an archive where you have to break X amount of generators. Usually it's like 20, 10, 20, you know, just X amount. And what you can do as Wraith is pair with like Scorch or Pain Resonance, Pop, you know, Sir. Wait, these are all getting nerfed. Uh oh. But yeah, right now there's an annoying cooldown that usually will get to another gen and there'll be like five seconds where you're just sitting in front of the gen doing nothing, just waiting, waiting waiting i'm assuming that they're gonna buff it so there's no cooldown anymore so you can just immediately kick generators again i'm assuming they're gonna nerf pop by either making the timer even shorter which i don't think would be that great but i don't know uh, but, or they might straight up just make it do less regression to generators uh scourge hook they're either gonna move the screaming aspect which would mean you can't use it for information anymore or they might just nerf the amount of regression you do get from generators Surge, I think, is now going to activate with special attacks. However, they're going to nerf the amount of damage it does to a generator. Iron Will, I feel like they're going to give the Lucky Break treatment and then make it on a timer so you can't use it forever during the match. Wait a second. Lucky Break is on this list too. They're just going to delete Lucky Break and then turn it into Iron Will. And then Iron Will now is a timer. See, he's even making a little clock. I think Corrupt is going to be on a shorter timer. It's going to be a simple nerf so that way it's not as effective i don't know i don't know what this perk does wait a second what does this perk do fight back against the ravage motivates inspire you after cleansing a totem over also activates increase your repair speed uh oh so yeah it's gonna get a big buff so every totem you cleanse it's gonna just keep adding more repair speed there, this is definitely getting buffed uh we need gens to go even faster uh, speaking of gens, let's talk about rune. Rune's getting deleted from the game, just like Lucky Break. We don't need that anymore. Lightweight is going to make footsteps quieter, so you can't hear the survivor's footsteps. It's also going to still do the scratch mark thing that it currently does. Okay, quick tangent about Soul Survivor. I was playing a game last night where there was one Fang who had Soul Survivor, and I couldn't find them with Barbecue because they let all their team die, and then they did escape, becoming the Soul Survivor. So that, yeah, this perk's good to go. Uh, Noah is now going to make exit gates regress instead of just being an insta down perk. So while Noah is active, if you 99 exit gate, it's going to just slowly trickle back. Here's my guess with hope. They're going to make it activate every time a generator is completed. So when a generator is com first completed, you get 1%, then 2%, then 3%, then 4%, then 5%. So you're just going to get ev faster every time a generator is completed. Or alternatively, you get less of a speed boost, but it does work with every generator completed. Uh, knockout. Does it work with special attacks? Yeah, they'll probably buff it to make it 
work a special attacks or something. Uh, Fanatophobia only works when the survivors die in real life. So that's going to be a big nerf to that. Rest in peace, Fanatophobia. Pharmacy is always going to give you a green med kit. That's my guess. They'll always guarantee green med kits from every chest. So, bless up to Pharmacy. Here's the issue with Savitar right now. The way it currently is, is the cooldown activates as you're saboing the hook. What they're going to do is make it so the cooldown activates after the hook has been sabotaged, and they're going to make the sabotage a little faster. I don't know what this is. Overcharge is going to get buffed so that every time you kick it in, it actually blows up the survivor's computers, and they have to perform a great skill check to make sure their computer doesn't explode. Spine Shield is probably going to work like Premonition instead of being on a constant, oh, the killer's looking at me, the killer's constantly coming to me. It's just going to give you a little notification when the killer's looking at you. And then it's going to go on a little cooldown, like Premonition currently works. Lethal Pursuit. Why are, they, why are they messing with Lethal Pursuer? This is a fun perk. It's fine. I hope they... Why would they nerf it? It's like fine. But yeah, they're going to buff Lethal Pursuer so you can see survivors throughout the entire match. Uh, this perk exists. It's a Scourge perk. I forget what it is. It sounds like Pain Resonance. Is it like Pain... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, they're going to get rid of the gen regression aspect, or the gen slowdown aspect, and make it a uh, more anti healy automobile -y. We're going to live for- no, what is this? No one left behind is going to get a numbers increase, where instead of 50% bonus action to healing and unhooking, it's probably going to be like 100%, or maybe like 150. While I was editing this, I thought, what if no one left behind gave the person you unhooked during the endgame the adrenaline effect? bring them to full health, and giving them a speed boost. I don't know, just a thought. Deja Vu is going to show you every generator, instead of just the furthest ones. Which is kind of sad, because Deja Vu made it so you couldn't 3-gen yourself if you're smart about it, but if you're still smart, you can see every gen, and then plan accordingly. They'll probably make the anti-healing of Chlorophobia stronger, however, it doesn't affect people on the ground. With Tenacity, they're going to make it so that you can get the pallets faster by giving it a numbers increase so it works better with Power Struggle and Flip Flop. Calm Spirit is going to make it so that the rats on certain map don't squeal and run away. With Distortion, I feel like they're going to move the tokens and make it so that whenever your aura would be revealed, it's instead hidden for, let's say, three seconds. And it's also going to still get rid of the scratch marks. Dark Sense is going to make your game way too bright whenever you complete a generator. Or alternatively, the killer's aura is revealed to you when they're near your generator. Off the record, we'll show the killer's search history whenever you complete a generator. With Monstrous Shrine, I think it'd be really interesting if you couldn't unhook yourself from the basement. I don't know, that might be too strong, but I think that'd be kind of funny. So yeah, those are my predictions. I hope every time I play Dead by Daylight, there's a risk that my computer explodes, and I won't have to play it anymore. Mm-hmm.